It's a hot day. What isn't it? I'm trying a different point and shoot camera I have because my other one, the battery just went dead on it. So I wonder how this one will work. Uh, check in pressures because I know this compressor is kind of crappy on it, but this car only has like 47,000 miles. Probably the AC has only been used maybe for like 15,000 miles of its whole life because I primarily used to drive this car when it was cold out. You know, in the middle of winter, but the roads weren't salted. It was like 15, 20 degrees. I'd be cruising everywhere. Ran awesome. What was that temperature too? But, um... What's that? Oh, that's why. I just get confused. That's about 70. You have to figure... I forget what each number represents again. Like 10, I think. 150. I think it's 10. 10 pounds on the high side. Or 10 PSI. Why do I keep saying pounds? But, um... I just checked the pressures on the system and I'll show you how I did it and um, I checked the condenser I just did a basic heat check on the condenser see if the condenser is clogged because I really have to put that compressor on you see with only one fan running the high side jumps up one night it'll go over 200 it'll eventually make it to 250 and when it goes to 250 the secondary fan kicks on, knocks the pressure down to around like what it is now, a 210 or a little under like 190, 195. Um, that could also be like, you know, the orifice valve is a little bit plugged up there from the compressor. Could be that. It could be too much oil in the system too. But um, if you rev it up, you'll hear that fan kick on and um, it will drop the temperature big time. Let's see if the goes up. Did it kick? No, it didn't kick. I didn't get it up high enough. But the more throttle. Did it kick? Yeah, it did kick. See, the secondary fan's on. You see the, the uh, high side temperature drops now. Big time. That's what it should do, though. Ideally, I can probably tune this car so that secondary fan kicks on sooner with the, um, the pressure to the system to keep that high side pressure from even getting that high in the first place. I could probably program that secondary fan so it, the high side pressure kicks on maybe like 230, you know, 225 instead of 250. I should change that. What I also did though, if you can even hear me over the noise of this car, it's too damn loud. I went around with a heat gun checking the condenser, condenser tubes. This has a parallel condenser. It's not a serpentine. Basically, the um, condenser tube just goes straight across. So actually, one of these could clog that goes straight across, and the condenser will still work. You know it's clogged when it's cool. The condenser is going to be hot. So you just go down with the heat gun, keep on checking all the tubes, looking for a cold spot. That's not a cold spot. I'm hitting the transmission cooler. But um. Yeah, it's actually a little bit different. 110 over there, look at that 125. See it right there. That could be like slightly plugged up. Do it again, you see? Over time though, these should go bad and they should be replaced. But I think this one's salvageable for what it is. And you have to figure that the lines come in on this direction, so you're gonna have flow going either here and I believe it goes wait I forget how the flow goes actually as it's side to side there's no lines coming out of this side the lines only come out of the passenger side I'm not sure which one's gonna kick it back yeah 111 look at that just a little bit 10 degrees not much it could be too sometimes where the fan is I notice it is cooler even down here say the temperature I think the fan's sucking more air through the center so that could be my reasoning too Obviously the fan's gonna be moving air, it's gonna be a little bit cooler than on the top where it isn't. Like down there, same thing. So if we go across, sometimes where it was cool, where's that cool spot? Yeah, 
Yeah, like maybe like something more right over there, you see, it's a little fucked up. I'm not even showing you good with this. But, I think it's alright, it's salvageable. The leaking compressor still runs quiet. We we'll shut it down. We really have to uh, fix this soon. That fan's still running? No, it turned off. See, that's our high side pressure. I wish it would be a little bit lower, but again, it's not going down the road and it has electric fans. Sometimes uh, mechanical fans, they do a little better job, I think, of cooling the condenser than the dual electrics. I don't know. And when a dual electric fan breaks, see, your compressor is always going to blow up because the uh, high side pressure is going to skyrocket. If anyone's been watching for a while, that's what that little tow truck I was driving kept uh, burning up compressors because the fan went bad. I'm telling them the condenser fan's bad. The condenser fan's bad. They didn't listen to me. They put a new AC compressor on, new condenser, it blew up again in a week because the fan stopped working. Stupid people. They don't listen to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know better than they do. Fixing cars isn't really a big deal. You just gotta have common sense, you know, and if something doesn't look right, it probably isn't. But, uh, yeah, maybe we can make something happen with it soon. It's freaking hot, dude. Hot. That's how you do it. I think the condenser is salvageable. Because finding, again, a new condenser, it's not, it's not gonna be as good as what you have. And uh, I'm going to shine a light too, I'll show you what that condenser looks like. Can you see it? And uh, kind of, that is... What line is that? Oh, that's the line that's coming from the compressor. Comes off the compressor, goes to the high side port, goes into the condenser from the top, and the bottom. I guess that's going to be the, the cooler, the cooled refrigerant. And it goes to the orifice tube, and that's where it starts getting cold. Runs to the um, evaporator, and then comes back through the receiver dryer and back to the compressor. <laughs> we got that down. We got that down. We rehearsed that. Yeah, right. But if you kind of see on the side of this compressor, it's the new style. Not condens condenser, not compressor. It's the new style, and it's uh, smooth all on the sides. You kind of see it. That hose out of the way. Should disconnect this too, or stay away from it. If I start starts leaking a big explosion there you go now you see it better yeah it's all just flat on the end the older ones like in this car on my truck they have little loops going through kind of like this power steering cooler you think of that you know the tubes just go wee 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 every which way those don't really clog up when um, the compressor would fail and they are easier to clean or you can clean those and these you can't really clean we're gonna try to run flush to it anyway just to get the oil out and uh, yeah, hopefully it works out.